Hello and welcome to the course and rules overview for the short pad layout at Maximo Park Disc Golf Course in St. Petersburg, Florida. This overview applies for all Gulf Coast Charity Open and Gulf Coast Tour Challenge events. My name is Cameron Harbachuk and I'm the Executive Director of Gulf Coast Events and Promotions, the parent company for the Gulf Coast Charity Open and the Gulf Coast Tour Challenge. Whether you know it or not, you have a brand and we have discs. Let's put them together and make something really cool. We've got plenty of discs and are ready to stamp or Dimax them however you'd like. Isn't it expensive? Well, guy who asks convenient questions, at Dynamic Discs, you can see what's available and fill out the form to see what it'll cost you before you even order. Sometimes I fill it out just for fun because you can watch the numbers go. Anyways, head to dynamicdiscs.com custom to place your custom order and grow your brand, whatever that is. Starting off our short pad layout on the easiest hole, hole number one. On this hole, any shot landing on or beyond any road is out of bounds. Hole number two is a 192 foot par three. On this hole, any shot landing on or beyond any of the road is out of bounds. For hole three, any tee shots that land on or beyond the road are out of bounds. Any out of bounds tee shots proceed directly to the marked drop zone with a one stroke penalty. Normal OB rules apply after your tee shot. Hole number four is a 204 foot par three playing to the A position. Any shot landing on or beyond any road or walking path is out of bounds. Hole number five is the most difficult hole on Maximo Park Disc Golf Course. Out of bounds on this hole include any shot over the fence or over the paint and string line that extends from the fence to the road, as well as any shot that lands on or beyond the road behind the basket. Hole number six measures in at 206 feet from the short pad. Any shot that lands on or beyond any road is out of bounds. Thanks, Mike, for helping me find my forever home for disc golf in my backyard. Thank you, Mike and Cap from the Florida real estate team. You guys are the best realtors out there. Thank you, Mike and McClary and the Florida real estate team for getting me my forever home. I'm Mike McClary with the Florida real estate team. And this year we're a proud sponsor of the Gulf Coast Charity Open, which is once again benefiting Metropolitan Ministries. These are just a few members of our disc golf family that have used our services to buy or sell our home recently. We hope you have a great weekend out there, shoot some personal bests, but most of all, have fun. And remember, the best traditions start at home. Hole number seven is playing to the newly elevated basket. On this par three, any shot that lands on the elevated portion of the interstate is out of bounds. The gravel road to the right of the hole is in bounds. Hole number eight is a 234 foot par three playing to the A position. On this hole, any shot that lands on the elevated interstate is out of bounds. Hole number nine is playing to a brand new pin location measuring in at 313 feet. On this hole, any shot that lands on the elevated interstate is out of bounds, though I would find that pretty hard to achieve. Hole number 10 comes in as one of the harder holes on the course. On this hole, any shot landing on or beyond the sidewalk behind the basket is out of bounds, as well as any shot going over the fence to the right of the fairway. Hole 11 is one of the longer holes on this layout, measuring in at 330 feet. Any shot landing on or beyond any walking path is out of bounds. Hole number 12 is another stereotypical Maximo hole. 
It's a par three, but still plays over par. Any shot going over the fence to the right or past any string or paint line on the right is out of bounds. Well as any shot that lands in the water behind the basket. Hole number 13 is a 203 foot par three, averaging just over par. Any shot landing in the water on the right or long of the basket is out of bounds. Hole number 14 is a 255 foot par three, playing to the A or left position. On this hole, any shot landing on any road or on or beyond any walking path is out of bounds. Hole number 15 has this double mando directly off the tee pad. If it is missed on either side, you will re-tee from your tee pad with a one-stroke penalty. Additionally, any shot that lands on or beyond any road or walking path is also out of bounds. Hole number 16 is home to another mando up here on the right-hand side of the fairway. If the mando is missed from either tee pad, you will re-tee from that tee pad with a one-stroke penalty. Additionally, any shot that lands on or beyond any road or on or beyond any walking path is out of bounds. Hole number 17 is the second shortest hole on this layout, averaging just under par. Any shot landing on or beyond any road is out of bounds. Hole number 18 is one of the most challenging finishing holes in all of disc golf. There is a string line that runs up the left side of the fairway and then wraps around this bog. Any shot that lands inside or to the left of the string line is out of bounds. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to watch some of our other course overview videos as well.